First off, Merry Christmas to everybody. Uh, today's workout was a simple push day. Um, I primarily focus the day around the bench press. If you're not a strength athlete or someone who's concerned with that, you can still do the other exercises around this. First things first is getting my scapulas to move, then into some hip mobility work. You'd be surprised how easier it is to press and how more and how comfortable you can be on the bench with hips that aren't stiff as a board. So here we have the pigeon pose. And then after this, um, you can go into some 90-90s or some form of an adductor stretch as well. So here I have a single leg adductor rock backs. Um, I'm doing as many reps as feel comfortable on each side, um, enough to get me feeling loose and ready to rock and roll. <clears throat> now, after that, I went to some T-spine stuff. So T-spine rotations here, tracking the elbow with the eyes, uh, about 10 to 15 reps per side. Once again, you should feel tight throughout the thoracic spine from sitting or just from never doing this type of movement. So do what you have to do to feel loose, ready to go. From there, I use this dial to do some over and backs, open up my chest and my shoulders. You can also do some prone swimmers um, or handcuffs um, on the ground if you don't have a dial, but this is an awesome movement as well. From here, I got some rotation. Again, I'm not moving at the low back. I'm moving at my thoracic spine. And there's some rotator cuff work. So we have some standing external band reps here. And then before I begin bench pressing, I like to get a little bit of a pump for the triceps. Uh, so here we have a single arm banded push down and on into some banded uh, pullovers for the lats. And then finally, I have some feet up dumbbell bench presses, switching up my tempos. And now the reason for this is, is because I want to have my joints ready to rock and roll. I want to also get in the zone. So getting my triceps warmed up, my lats warmed up, and obviously the pressing movement warmed up is perfect for me. From here, I went into the bench press. Usually I'll start off with 135, then add on another plate. Then from there, I'll jump a quarter on into 315. The objective today was to reach a heavy triple. Um, once again, I'm getting back into the swing of things with strength training. So for me, it's not a, a, it's not a matter of how much weight I can push right now. It's more so what can I push comfortably, have it look and move decently. So no ego lifting over here. So here's 315. If you notice, I let the bar sink in before driving through. It's a technique that I like to use, but you by all means do not have to do it. Some guys or girls like to do touch and go. But for me, I just like the feeling of sinking it and then going. Now here I want to note something. Always pick the right spotter for you. I had mentioned to this guy previously, hey man, slight lift off. He pretty much shrugged the bar <laughs> off the rack, which is fine. He was able to get the job done, but just pick the right spotter. Next, we're back to push-ups because I just had my shoulder blades pinned for so long. I'm now doing push-ups, kind of create some movement between the scapulas and allowing me to be in a healthy shoulder position going to my incline presses. Nothing special here. Incline presses, controlling it on the way down, exploding on the way up. From there, I go into my fly movements. Here, I want to have the handle slightly above, um, perpendicular with the ground, just to get the middle fibers of the chest a little bit more. And then from there, I go into dips. Honestly, people try to make chest workouts and push days too complicated. And especially with something like dips that, I mean, you can get the lower chest fibers, um, some of the middle and also the triceps. But most people avoid them because they're hard or they hurt their shoulders. And my thing is, if you can perform effective push ups or dips, it indicates pretty good shoulder function. I think that's imperative for anyone trying to see longevity in the gym. Finishing things off with a reverse grip tricep push down. My second push day will be my shoulders and my overhead tricep work.